Hey guys, I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood colorist, and with the release of DaVinci Resolve 19, we get introduced to a new feature in the Motion Effects palette, which is called the Ultra Noise Reduction. Seems a bit excessive to me to call it Ultra Noise Reduction. I'm not sure if they're copying Apple Silicon M2 Ultra in the naming, but from the name itself, you would think that Ultra Noise Reduction will remove all the noise in the clip like totally but the results that i get backs to differ so with the function of the ultra noise reduction kind of similar like neat video i thought that it would be logical to compare it with neat video which is a plugin for noise reduction in davinci resolve so let's get to the test so as you can see here i have this clip which is shot on blackmagic raw b raw and I apply a LUT and also some primary adjustments so that I can brighten up and enhance the noise. If I turn this note off, you can see that it's shot pretty dark. So when I turn up the brightness, you can see all the noise that is present in this clip. So there's a lot of RGB and chromatic noise in this clip. You can see here. So this is going to be a very good clip to test out the capabilities of ultra noise reduction versus neat video. So I'm going to turn off neat video for now, just for safety to disable this node. So in my ultra noise reduction node, I'm going to go down to motion effects and the ultra noise reduction is located in your spatial noise reduction. So in the mode, I'm going to select ultra and R and for noise profile, you get the option to analyze the clip to see what kind of spots that you want to use to get the noise information. So you just have to click on analyze. And this square will appear over here. So you can adjust the square to locate where you want to where you want to resolve to detect the noise reduction. And depending on where you move this square, it will detect different information. As you can see, the luma and chroma uh, noise reduction levels, which is 18.7% right now, is gonna change if I move this square around. So you can get an idea of how much of noise they are removing. So with just one click on the Analyze, I can get a very precise reduction of noise. So if I play back this video, it's going to use the same uh, level of noise reduction throughout the whole clip. So first thing that you notice is that it's playing back very slow. So right now it's playing back at 5, 7 frames, 8 frames, 7 frames. So it's super, super slow. But Blackmagic Design has said that this will be using the neural engine of DaVinci Resolve or Apple Silicon to speed up this noise reduction effect. But I'm guessing that this, because this is still a public beta version, so it doesn't fully utilize the neural engine. So it's playing back pretty slow. So take this with a grain of salt. Hopefully it will be a lot faster once it's on the version 19. So speaking about this square over here, if you move the square around at a different point of the clip, then it will reanalyze the noise profile over here. And then it will stick to that profile, although you keep playing on the clip. So it won't take the live view of what it's seeing unless you move that uh, this point around. Yeah, so that's kind of how it works. So you don't have to worry that this point that you're selecting will need to always be in a place where it's uh, suitable to detect noise. So in case that if your square goes out of bounds over here, like it's touching the white area over here, you don't have to be too worried about that. Just keep it in the area which is good to detect noise, which usually is pure black or pure white, but you don't really have to do anything if you can just click analyze here and it will pick a optimal point for you. So this is the result for ultra noise reduction. So what about neat video? Is it better or worse? So let's get into that. For neat video, I'm going to disable my ultra noise reduction. We can see that the noise is back and going into my neat video is basically the same thing. So I'm going to turn on this note, go into my effects, prepare noise profile, and auto profile so it will select a point for me and apply noise reduction so basically it's the same steps in terms of the workflow when it comes to ultra noise reduction and neat video now comes the million dollar question is it better so let's play it back and right off the bat you can see that the playback is at 20 frames instead of the seven frames that we got from the ultra noise reduction just now so in this public beta version 
neat video is still ahead in terms of playback speed. All right. And for the noise reduction effect, I'm noticing that neat video has a cleaner noise reduction without a lot of loss in texture and details. So if you notice this steering wheel, which has the leather texture over here, in my neat video, I can still see very sharp textures. But if I move on to my ultra noise reduction, you can see that the texture here is mushy. So on my right here is neat video and on my left is ultra noise reduction. So if I wipe over the texture, you can see that ultra noise reduction reduces the texture in the details. You can see that very clear. Neat video, ultra noise reduction. Neat video, ultra noise reduction. So this is a very, it's quite big loss in texture if you ask me. So I'm kind of on the fence on what to say about this ultra noise reduction while it's still in the public beta version right now because in terms of playback speed, it's slower and in terms of detail retention, it's also worse. So Neat Video still holds up as a very good tool to reduce noise reduction. And Neat Video also comes with a lot of other features like film restoration or chromatic restoration. You can also see the details of how much uh, details is being preserved with Neat Video. So yeah, Neat Video 1, Ultra Noise Reduction 0. Let's see if that changes in the future. And if you think I'm doing anything wrong with ultra noise reduction, do drop a comment down below. And I'm very curious to know what you think. And if you're wondering why I put noise reduction at the end of the note tree instead of in front, do check out this video, which I explain my workflow on why I've decided to put noise reduction at the back of the note tree. So if you want to learn more about color grading in the Winchi Resolve, I also just launched my online course. So do check that out if you're interested. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.